Hello you guys. Um, I know that came out all squeaky. I am by myself and that's a big rarity. So I'm going to do another video uh, as I featured in my previous video. I've got the, the dupe. Um, this is by Co Coastal Scents of the um, Urban Decay Naked Palettes and I just want to see what I can come up with and uh, for all of you people out there who like the cut crease looks I've gotten a lot of love on that I don't know why because really that's for people with works better for people with hooded eyes but if you don't have hooded eyes and you have deep deeper set eyes um, it will highlight the crease you already have so I guess that's why people like it so much so I'm gonna do another look like that um, it's gonna be a little bit more of a rounded eye is what I'm thinking to do uh, and I'm gonna use these colors and probably uh, brighten up the lid a little bit with something else so I'm just trying to figure this out as I go I'm gonna probably use this as my um, and again, this looks very much like the, I said it was by MAC, it's not by Urban Decay Foxy. And that looks like it. So, that's going to be my brow bone color. Another really good, and for those of you who shop at Walgreens, good dupe. And I told you guys I'm going to be talking a lot about dupes. Um, so that you guys can afford your makeup. I know a lot of you, I, I too like to, so, you know, watch people who are doing makeup looks with Urban Decay and MAC, um, I can afford to all, all the time be buying that stuff. So I thought I'd make it my business because I myself, I, I do it for myself to help you guys to do it. So if you want to go to the website or to your um, local code, sorry, and pick this up. So if you have a Beals, uh, close by they're carrying this and I think it's a great great buy because it is an exact replica of the naked palettes by Urban Decay and for those of us who can't afford 40 bucks on a palette here goes the same thing for 12 so I thought I'd create a very nice and I, I also told you guys I wanted to use more um, elf products I'm sorry I'm so out of frame here so I'm going to choose to do that. There will be a couple of products. Here goes a very beautiful uh, high gloss in red that I could use. It doesn't come out red. It's, it comes out very sheer and um, almost iridescent. So I'll put this on top of something. Um, there will be a couple of things by other makeup lines. These lipsticks I picked up and I believe these are... And I've been dying to get colors like this. This is a really dark maroonish, and one is a really dark purple. Uh, I probably will use them now for this look that I'm doing because I'm gonna go. I'm gonna show you guys a soft cut in this look, um, so that those of you who want to rock this during the day can. I've already done one. I'll do another one now. Um, so that's these and I'm just trying to see, I'm pretty sure these are wet and wild. Yes, wet and wild. So I'm just showing you guys. I'm going to use the blush. This is by Hard Candy. I love this blush and I've already told you guys that I've seen this before. Um, it's called Orgasm and if I'm not mistaken, it's either NARS or... It's one of the high-end makeup lines, Urban Decay or NARS, it's called Orgasm, and this to me looks just like it. And then I'm going to bronze, this is by e.l.f. with this. So, another tip for you guys who are looking for eyeshadows and don't yet have a palette like this. I will a lot of times use the shades, your eyebrow shades mimic the same shades that um, you may want to use in this area. A lot of the times you can get the same exact colors and they're matte. So if you don't have a matte color to use in this area, you can just use your eyebrow kit and it's going to work exactly the same way. 
Matter of fact, I've used eyeshadows in that color to do my brows so I can see where they get it from. And then I'm going to try to do a little bit of work. This is also an e.l.f. product, and these are little eyeshadows. They're baked, um, and sometimes I'll just use them in the midpoint of the eye. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet because I'm looking at something a little bit on the brighter side. So let's get started. Okay, and well, this is a, a, a do it with me video because I'm just going to see what I can carve out on my own here. Now, I have a, a look in mind that I like very much uh, for daytime. And then I think I've already shown you guys these. These are by J Lash, and you can pick these up at that store I talked about before, Rainbows. They're all over the place now, so I would find it hard to believe that all of you guys at least have to have a Rainbows department store now because they have gone nationwide. So you can get these $1.99. They're called J Lash. I've only got this pair right now, but I reuse my lashes, so this pair should last me a little while. And if it doesn't, I'll pick up some more. They're nice and affordable. So, okay, let's get started. I've already done my face as far as moisturizing and you guys know I use my vitamin E and my BB cream by Garnier. So I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to prime my eye. And I wanted to use this. I, I featured it in my last video, but I didn't use it. I'm going to use this. This is an NYC palette. And they have that beautiful maroonish color I'm in love with. These two colors at the end, the plummy and the maroon. I love those colors. So that's why I picked this up. But I'll probably only use it just to get the um, base. And I'm going to set it from here aside into your most capable hands and um, let you guys look. I, I do a lot of sign language here and um, it is in a faster speed, but I did not want you guys to have a humongously long video. So I thought I would find you guys some great music again and um, all of the products that I use I'm going to do a full review on in a video after this and I'm telling you right there that the e.l.f. primer that I just used uh, that's the only bad product that they have and so you see I give it a thumbs down um, I end up using the wet and wild primer and um, I also use the base from the NYC um, eyeshadow palette and I hold that up for you I do believe, and I'm holding up my brushes too, um, and I show you each kind of brush I use along with every product that I use. And I think I hold it up for a decent amount of time at this speed that you guys can uh, see what I'm using and how I'm using it, as well as um, a full review on those products. Um, after this video on my Friday chat video which is coming up and it was actually Friday so um, that will be coming up and I'm going to leave you guys with some really nice music so you don't have to hear me the whole way along because you pretty much can see quite easily what I'm doing it and how I am doing it and this by the way I just want to leave you with this um, last thought this sat lower on my eye than I'm usually comfortable doing I have a lot of lid space <clears throat> I may have funky shaped lids but there's a lot of space there and so for those who do not have as much space I did one that sat a little lower on the eye that I'm usually comfortable doing for myself and um, this will be more acceptable for daytime wear for people who want very soft look on the eyes this one is for you or who do not have lots of lid space. So with that said, here we go.